Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a flip through of the books that I've done in the last couple of months. So we're just going to go ahead and start into this. I haven't had a whole lot to show you because, well, <laughs> due to my health and all that and doctor's appointments and all sorts of stuff, so we got a few though. So we're going to go in to this book first. This is the um, Book of Four Seasons. And I did this one here. And I used Polychromo Distress Ink for the background. And the Holbein Soft White to put in the details around in this area. Taped it off on this side just so I could get the Distress Ink on that line there. I thought that one turned out pretty good. I tried to do the dress the same way here as her dress. And so that's the first time I actually put a pattern in a dress. So <laughs> I think that turned out pretty well. I now even own one of these little coffee pots, but I use it for tea. So I have a little strainer in mine, and it just makes the best tea. <laughs> so we have that one. And then I did a page in this book. It's on this side, so I'll try to get it over here. This one's done with Holbein's. The um, bright uh, neon colors plus the kind of muted different colors along with a black pen to add in these dots. The black pen that I'll be referring to in all these pages is this um, was it Sakura graphic pen. Is this the small one or is this the big one? This is the big one, but it's in this set. And I just made the black dots with those. I don't think I did background on many of these. I think I added these little dash lines in here and a bigger black line. Other than that, it's just the coloration of the um, pages. That one was fun. Then I did this page and this is from Ruby Charm Colors. It's one of their or one of her uh, pages she has in her Etsy shop and it's a little kitty cat. I did um, Distress Ink in the background up here and everything on this page was done. I'm gonna have to check. Do I have it in here? I didn't look at this one because I didn't put it on there. Da, da, da. Trying to look for the pencils. Part two. So Tombows, Ohuhu Markers, and Holbein, and Polychromos. And of course the um, used on this one, this black pen, the glaze one, because these are raised up. But that one turned out really cute. And then we did one in Wild Folk or Wild Flower Folk coloring book by Christine Karen. And I did this one. <laughs> Perla. Boom. So I did it with uh, polychromos, Uhuhu markers, or Copic, depending on where I was doing them and uh, distress ink and we have stickles all over this page if you see these sparkles. Just love this book. This paper in here is amazing. So you can see where I did the um, alcohol markers but you can't see the distress ink so there you go on that one. Love those pages. Okay then we have one in the small victories <laughs> teeny tiny book. It's really kind of fun to work in this one because it's so small. But we did uh, this page. Uh, I believe I did maybe two at a time. There's like four, four of these on YouTube. Uh, Karen Dash Museum Aquarelles and the Derwent Light Fast were used on these along with that um, black pen. These are raised, so it would have been the glaze one. 
So they're all done in the same color palette. A little headshot. <laughs> anyway, then I did one in the um, Creative Companion 2024. And I did the little polar bear here. And it's all done with polychromos. I'm just feeling to see if there was any um, Posca or anything done on this, and there is not. Um, I'd use this for keeping track of my uh, diet that I'm eating, along with, you know, the stuff that I do during the week. So that's how that uh, little companion is doing. I've got all the tabs here for every single month. This one was, I believe, done in January. And then we have one in Atlantis by Hannah Carlson. And this one is a dragonfly with the um, black dots here done with that other pen. Polychromos that I did kind of a patina on um, the ironwork here. And yeah, I'm trying to think of the coloration on that and I can't remember. It's been a while, but yeah, nothing bled through on that either. So it's probably Tombow's if I used a, a color in the Dragonfly that wasn't a normal um, coloration uh, with the pencils. But I like how that one turned out. I think that's the first and only picture I did in this book. I love these little uh, thinner books. The paper in these are really nice. I think I have the um, Dutch version of these. And then the last one I did was in Sagner Oct Sag or Sag or Oct Sagner <laughs> by Emily Lindhall Overk. Okay, and we did the um, little mice in the boat cups. And I used the Phoenix color pencils for this. And I believe a little bit of the um, soft white Holbein to do some of this and a little bit of the Posca to get some of these petals really white in here. And probably a little of that Posca in with their fur. And their eyes have got the... Um, glaze pen in there for the bright shiny parts of their eyes along with a little Posca in here. And I think that turned out well. I was going to do a ba background on this and give you a background tutorial, but I really like it plain like that. It just kind of stands out. I did a background on this one with a pink um, distress ink along with some uh, stickles on it. And I think that one turned out nice. This one is also done with Distress Ink background. But this one I left clean too, and I liked how it turned out. So I thought I would just do some of them with backgrounds. Here's the other one. Got a little white mouse on this one. And I think that, oh yeah, this one's totally background out. <laughs> I mean, that is, I think. I think I did that one a long time ago with the Neo Colors. I haven't got those out in a long time. So yeah, that's how many pages I've gotten done in this book. So that's uh, the last couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you hopefully coloring another page pretty soon. <laughs> Hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And uh, have a great day. Bye now.